So I'm finally home from work. It was another super long day and I'm super tired. I'm just hanging out with my big cat. Hey, big cat. He sits on me all the time. But anyway, I wanted to share a realization that I had. Um, so I've been talking a lot about people with non-marginalized bodies kind of taking over the body positive movement and how, um, oh, I think my husband's home. Hang on. False alarm. He's not home. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make, um, very ineloquently is that if you do not live in a marginalized body, maybe you shouldn't use the body positive tags. Um, and I say this because because I just had the realization that I've been putting hashtag body positive or hashtag body positivity um, on some of my posts and I was like, wait, I'm just like contributing to everything that I'm ranting against. Like it doesn't make sense. Why am I doing it? So, I mean, my voice was taking up space that could have been filled by someone living in a marginalized body. Um, but I do want people in the body positive community to see my posts. Um, because, like, I hate to of a sticky issue because, um, like I said, I hate to fucking mention this, but it's, like, so true. If someone hears it from me, they might actually consider it and think about it. But then, if I'm putting my voice out there, I'm drowning out someone else's voice. So, so I'm going to have to think about that a little bit more. Um, I'm probably going to avoid using the body positive tags. Um, I just, I don't think it's appropriate, um, and I hope that you guys think about what tags you're using as well, um, because I still see, um, some people that I follow using the body positive tags on posts about their thin white bodies, and I just, I, I'm probably just gonna unfollow. I don't know if I can engage in a discussion about this, which might make me a really shitty activist, but I, I just feel like I'm burnt out in multiple areas of my life right now, so... I don't have a lot of energy to expend, so um, I just have to wait until I'm more energized to engage in these conversations, um, you know, because I want to be articulate and I want to be able to listen and not just shut down. Um, for my new followers, I'm in recovery from an eating disorder, so I'm like balls ass tired all the time. So that's what I'm talking about when I say that I'm exhausted all the time. Um, I've only been in recovery for three or four months, so my body is still doing a lot of healing, I guess. Um, anyway, that's, that's not relevant. Look how red my air is. That's how anxious I am right now. Like, any kind of social interaction, it just, like, it gets me so socially anxious. But then I'm so tired that I don't actually feel anxious, but I know that I'm anxious because my ear's turning red, and that's how I know. And the light is so bright right now, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed.